requires more investment, uh, more beds being provided, as is happening in Port Uncula, uh, but also means improving our community services so that fewer people end up in hospital in the first place. Yeah, well, I suppose kind of broadly in terms of um, attracting investment, attracting jobs, I think Balso is very well served. You know, train link, mm -hmm. good road network, exactly. close to Galway, close to Dublin too, and uh, we have the IDA. Uh, park where I'll be later on and we are working on a significant investment in there so hopefully good news on that yeah. uh, in the next next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, on just maybe. transition there's still more funding to come. We are literally so affected. <laughs> Shannon Bridge less than 10 kilometres away from Banlaslow. Uh, one of the power stations, Board Mona, everything that shut down was in Shannon Bridge. So people have been impacted by loss of employment, by changing, the world changing. But we've seen funding coming in and we're going to be visiting uh, the funding we've seen for the Pulse Hub, the Pulse Hub that's now on Society Street, the old bank chambers and over uh, 500,000 came in through Just Transition and 250,000 from towns and villages on the Minister Heather Humphreys area um, and we're going to be looking at that and that's going to bring more people working in Banaslow. We have Costa Coffee and that's 10 new jobs into Banaslow and that doesn't take account of all the businesses, the coffee shops in the middle of town here, the shops that are providing employment every single day. Uh, guys, everyone here who is working, who is an employer, uh, we're here to support you. And I particularly, particularly want to encourage or, or let, let businesses know of some of the changes that we announced this week. So, you know, one was keeping the VAT rate at 9% uh, through to uh, at the end of August, but also the scheme that we put in to help businesses with their high energy costs, uh, the T-Best scheme, uh, really didn't work. So there's more money involved and uh, businesses will get back, will get retrospective funding yeah. back to September so it will really help with cash flow for small businesses in particular and then also conscious of the fact that large parts of rural Ireland aren't connected to the gas network we're now going to provide a grant to businesses that uh, use LPG or use kerosene 